How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to be talking about Arsenal and a possible signing of Martin Zubamendi. Uh, we're also going to be talking about Calvin Phillips because his nightmare at Man City is over. And the last piece of news involves Chelsea because last night they reached a Carabao Cup final. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is Arsenal and uh, a little bit of transfer news. Nothing confirmed, don't get too excited. Um, but something that could get you excited if it does happen um, is the possible signing of Martin Zubamendi uh, from Real Sociedad. Now a player that's been on Mikel Arteta's radar for the last year or so. When I first heard about this guy, didn't know a lot about him, so... Paid a bit more of an interest to get to know his style of play and game and everything else. And then I've kept a, you know eye on him from a distance. But the thing is with Arsenal is that you just don't ever get yourself too emotionally invested in players that are linked with the club. Because ultimately it never happens. Um, but he is a quality player. And would he fit Arsenal? Is he what we need? Oh my word, he is. This is not a sign-in if it does happen, that will happen this month. You know, the rumours, the talks and everything else are saying that Arsenal are doing a pre-agreement and that he will join in the summer. Again, nothing has been confirmed and there are talks of other clubs like Barcelona, um, Bayern Munich, all involved. So it's not cut and dry. It's not something that we can all get happy about. Now, in terms of his style of play, I feel that this would be the Thomas Partey replacement. Um, plays as that kind of number six, deep lying playmaker, very comfortable on the ball, can break lines, dictate play, the tempo and everything else. And I feel that he is exactly what Arsenal would need. We can talk about Thomas Partey and the issue with him is injuries age, everything else, it's all catching up and it's a place that we need to strengthen. It's as simple as that. And Zubamendi is definitely one of those players that would slot into there quite effortlessly and make us a better team. If we can get this deal done, I would be very, very, very happy about it. Um, Mikel Arteta, of course, will have you know, his links to Sociedad and everything else. But yeah, I'm not going to get too excited too soon until, you know, we see confirmation and we see that it's a done deal. There was a lot of talk yesterday um, and a lot of talk saying it is basically done. But until I see it, you know, on Arsenal.com and, you know, guaranteed confirmation, I'm not going to get too excited. But like I said, he is the perfect Thomas Partey replacement. Plays as that number six. We all seem to, you know, look at positions and use numbers to dictate those areas. And it's the, the modern way. But a number six, that deep lion playmaker. Um, and like I said, he is quality. Very comfortable on the ball. Dictates the play. Controls the tempo. Um, slows it down. Picks it up and... He is really, really good. So it's an exciting one if it happens. But until it does, I'm not really going to say much more. So we'll see what happens. Uh, next piece of news involves Calvin Phillips and his nightmare at Manchester City looks to be over because it looks like he's going to West Ham on loan for the remainder of the season. Now, I don't know whether there's going to be any clause in there that means that West Ham have to buy him. Um, or he will go back to Man City. Um, but yeah, for the remainder of this season, anyway, his nightmare is over. He got that move to Manchester City a couple of years ago, and it's just been a complete and utter nightmare. He hasn't, you know, featured for Man City hardly at all. Um, he's been surplus to requirements. It's just been a complete and utter waste of money by Manchester City. Pep Guardiola clearly doesn't rate him. Um, rated him to bring him in but then obviously when you watch someone in training and everything else and I think one of the biggest problems as well is that he's been you know fighting for a place with the likes of Rodri and yeah you're not really going to get ahead of him are you um, but at West Ham I think that would be a very very good move um, for Calvin Phillips and um, 
it would be an opportunity for him to reignite his career, a chance for him to, you know, try and stake his claim back with England. Um, but yeah, he's really got to get his head down, work hard this season and then see whether that will be a permanent move um, or whether it will, you know, put him back in the shop window for somewhere else. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting one, um, but it's definitely a move that um, makes sense for all parties. Man City, not even going to say get him off the wage bill because it doesn't seem like they're even bothered, do they? Um, but, yeah, for West Ham, that's a, a player that they need in that area. Um, and, yeah, it, it on paper looks a good fit. So um, interesting to see how this one pans out for the remainder of the season. Uh, next piece of news involves Chelsea. And last night they were in Carabao Cup semi-final action. Second leg, 1-0 down to Middlesbrough from the first leg. Um, but it was a very, very comfortable evening. 6-1 winners and they are in the Carabao Cup final. Uh, Maurizio Pochettino has got an opportunity of doing something that he could not do at Spurs and that's win a trophy um, but yeah Chelsea were dominant um, and yeah there's not really much to say Middlesbrough Michael Carrick they won't be happy with that they literally went out you know toothless it was just really poor and when you go into that second leg one nil ahead you would want to see more fight um, you could talk about individual performances, the quality that Chelsea have in certain areas, but to lose the semi-final second leg 6-1, um, that's not great, is it? And um, listen, at the end of the day, Chelsea are in a final um, and that's what they'll worry about or they will care about. Um, who they will play in the final is going to be very interesting. The second semi-final is tonight. Um, it's Fulham against Liverpool. Liverpool 2-1 ahead uh, from the first leg. So all to play for with that one. Of course, Liverpool are going to be without the likes of Mo Salah. Um, even if he wasn't at the African Cup of Nations, he's injured anyway now. But um, yeah, they're going to have to try and get this one done. And if they get to the final at Wembley, then I think that Liverpool will be the favourites over Chelsea. Um, if Fulham get through, then it's going to be the West London derby um, at Wembley. But um, yeah, interesting. We'll see what happens. But I do think that Liverpool will get the job done and meet Chelsea in the final. Um, so listen, that's pretty much it for today's DT's Daily. Um, interesting news about Martin Zubamendi. Uh, we'll see what happens with that one. Um, if it does happen, I'll be very excited. Calvin Phillips um, to West Ham um, and Chelsea are in a Carabao Cup final. So, yeah, listen, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.